So our, probably our favorite listener from the Czech Republic had a question, and that was about a new product that uh, Dan Foss has released, and that is a TXV for CO2. Sure is. Which is kind of a, a different animal. And he was wondering, by the way, that's, we're talking about Václav over in the Czech Republic. He's wondering, um, you know, where can you use it? What do you need to know about it? Um, yep. All those kind of interesting things and what applications you could use it in. Yeah. So it's it's just the first mechanical or TXV on the market for CO2 across the board and anywhere. So I think we're pretty proud of it as a company to, to be putting it out there. Um it is uh it, it's kind of a, a byproduct of an existing series that we have so a t2 is a existing txv series that we sold to the market for years and so this is just a variation of that for co2 um <clears throat> so it's obviously been changed manipulated for the refrigerant type and, and the aspects of it the high pressures and whatnot so it's a a 90 bar max working pressure on the valve which is a pretty typical cutoff point for a lot of equipment on CO2 systems on the low side of the system for 90 bar, which puts you around 1300 PSI. So you're well above any relief valves or some of the, the limitations of the other material piping and whatnot that, that we have there. Um, it does have a, a max operating pressure uh, component to it. So again, we want to make sure our pressures aren't getting too high. We have mop charges and a lot of our other valves that we have out on the market. And this one has a, a mop rating at 640 pounds. So again, it's another way to limit the high pressures from getting to parts of the system we don't want it to. Um, so that, that charge element that's inside of the, the bulb there on the